Something carved here. Words? What is this? Long ago, our ancestors abandoned their nations for forgetting their duty to protect their people, and thus became the true defenders of freedom. That is how the guilds first began. But now, the iron shackles of oppression threaten to strangle us once again. It is because we have forgotten the oath of our ancestors and spent our time fighting one another for our own self-interests. Therefore, we must once again return to the basic principles behind the guilds and join our strengths together as one. We offer our swords for freedom, our shields for friendship, and our lives for the common good. Here we renew our ancient oath. Hey, isn't that the Union Oath? What is that? It's like a slogan that the Dawn came up with when he formed the Union. We can't depend on the Empire, so we have to protect each other. In order to do that, we need to join forces and put our lives on the line for one another. But what's the Oath doing in a place like this? The Union is based on the guilds that resisted when this town was occupied by the Empire. Before that, guilds just did whatever they wanted and only joined together when there was a problem. Once things were resolved, they split up again. But with the Empire's occupation, they changed that. So the guy who led those guild forces was Don Whitehorse? Yep. These sewer tunnels must have really come in handy back then. So that's when they made the oath here? Seems that way. I'd heard there was an actual written oath, but I had no idea it'd be etched in a wall like this. There's something beautiful about how the oath is written on a wall. It says, I freed right here. Oh yeah, that infamous King of the Pirates. The way Don tells it, he was supposedly a sworn ally, but he was such a shrewd and cunning individual that even the Don had difficulty dealing with him. The Don's a pretty impressive guy to be able to call someone like that a sworn ally. Our lives for the common good, huh? I'm glad I got to see something so fascinating. But we take care of Barbos now, let's go. Swords for freedom, huh? The Union Oath, right? Fighting for personal freedom instead of draconian imperial law sounds good to me. If you feel that way, maybe the guilds are right for you, Yuri. Huh? Yeah, I wasn't cut out to be a knight. <coughs> huh? You agree, Repeat? <coughs> the guilds, huh?
Tavern in the eastern part of town used by Barbos as a hideout. Basically, it's the place you guys were trying to sneak into. Then Barbos is somewhere around here? Looks like there's a second floor. Let's see what's up there.
Barbos, what is the meaning of this? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. The Tower and the Blastia, of course. I have yet to receive any reports about them. Why should I have to report to you about something like that? What? Building that lousy tower fortress of yours without speaking a word of it to your own employer? You even went so far as to use Leviathan's claw for help! I'm not your lapdog, Rago. I just gathered the cores together, like you requested. It's thanks to my efforts that you were able to make that weather-controlling Blastia. And just what made you think it was okay to carry off the extra cores? Our mutual non-interference was a condition of our agreement, was it not? What? And did I ever interfere with what you were doing? Barbos, how dare you! You will leave now, Magistrate. Remember this, Barbos. Black-hearted filth like you always get what they deserve in the end. You want to talk, Rago? You guys! It's the World Series of Villains, and you had to take the best seat in the house? What fool would dare to heckle my exquisite performance? Oh, -ho! if it isn't the little runts I met on the ship. You're the one who's been causing all of the recent chaos. On what of it? You fools will never manage to capture me. Oh, yeah? What's your reasoning there? A villain is someone who never considers losing a possibility. That's why he thinks the way he does. If so, then that makes you quite a villain, Yuri. Yep, I'm nefarious. <sighs> so we're rebelling, huh? You're a real troublemaker, you know that? You've got a big mouth, brat. You would dare to oppose me? I thought I told you before that next time you wouldn't get off so easy. All the better for us to tear things up. Take them down! Ha <laughs> ha! The fools have started to march! Now that meddlesome Don and the Knights will destroy each other! He did this to destroy the Union and to eliminate the Dawn! If the Knights are destroyed, who will protect the Empire? Rago, why would you... Oh... Of course! He's gonna weaken the Imperial Knights so that the Council can step in and control the Empire! And he's gonna use the Blood Alliance to seize Altosk and rule over the Union. Oh my! The Knights and the Union going down together. It's just as Flynn said. <laughs> so what if you know now? No matter what you do, you won't be able to stop the battle. Huh, we'll see. And your existence comes to an end here! Damn it, he's too late. Flynn! Stop! All of you! Sheath your blades! Sheath them! I am Flynn Shifo of the Imperial Knights. I have come bearing a letter from Master Yoder. The letter you received from the Empire was false. It was the work of a rebel. Draw back your armies at once. I thought you weren't coming back. And leave Yuri behind to take the fall for me? I wouldn't dream of it. Rago, you fool. You didn't keep up your end of the bargain. Don't hurt me! Damn! Yuri! They're aiming at Flynn! Got him! Nice shot, Carol! You brats think you can stop me? Ah! Get out of here! Head for the exit! Yuri, no! It's too dangerous! It should take time for the air to recharge. I'll try and stop him before then. Now! You're too late! No! It charged up too quickly! What the hell? What in the world is that? Oh, so you're back for more, Dragon Freak? Rita, knock it off! Our enemy's over there! My enemy is this dragon freak! Leave it alone for now! <clears throat> I'm gonna make you wish you hadn't done that! 
What? He can fly? Oh, so the boss is heading for the hills, huh? Get back here, you freak! Think I'm just gonna let you get away? If you're going after him, let me come with you. We're a little short on wings around here. Are you crazy? This jerk's our enemy! No matter what happens, I've gotta catch that guy. Come on! Thanks. Wait, what about us? This guy's overloaded enough as it is. But what should we... You guys hold down the fort here. What? Stay out of trouble. Damn it, Yuri! And let Flynn know I'm stepping out for a while. So that cyclone was his doing. Here comes trouble. You... you destroyed the Blastia! Hey, are you okay? Bastards! getting started. Ha! Huh. My men won't have any trouble taking care of a brat like you. Now rip him to pieces! was easy. Hey, I learned something. Is that all you got? Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you your place. Huh, that's a handy sword you've got. Think you lost because of this sword, huh? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, talk it up while you've got the chance. We've got a nice, painful death all set up for you. Now shut up for a while. What's the deal? 
Please, I've got to get out of here. It's always something with you, isn't it, old man? It's not polite to point sharp objects at your elders. Hey! That's enough. Damn it! A woman? And she's Christian? Are you all right? <laughs> Sorry. Well, after all, you did help Baul back there. Baul? Yes, my friend. Oh, you mean that monster? So tell me, what are you going around destroying Blastia for? Not a big deal if you don't feel like talking about it. I'm afraid it's not as impressive as you might think. I'm destroying them because I want to. You're right. I'm not all that impressed. So that's why you mashed up Barbos's Blastia, too. Yes, but I didn't finish the job. And can you just let this one go? There wouldn't be any fun in destroying something like that. Huh. Hey, why don't we work together a little longer? Hmm. It's true, I wasn't able to finish off the Blastia on the roof. Okay, then. So what do we do? Hmm, there is one way I was thinking we could get out of here. Well, if you think it might work, what's the harm in trying it out? I always say, those who can, should. Okay, just go along with me on this. I'll just follow your lead. Don't worry. It's a little nerve-wracking working with a pretty lady, though. Ah! Oh, that is it! Ah! Pipe down! Cut it out! You cut it out! I said that's enough! I've had it up to here with you! Somebody get me away from this psycho! So I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, huh? Ta-da! You're free! Thanks for your help. I think I still owe you one more. Huh? Guess I, uh, overdid it back there. There. That makes us even. I'm Yuri. Yuri Lowell. Judith. Judith? Uh, Judy's easier to say. Fine by me. All right. On to the next objective. Next? Well, we could check out the Blasty on the roof. All we have to do is go up. Won't your friends be waiting for you? I don't mind taking care of the Blasty first. Up we go, then. And how exactly do we go up? This is heavy. Yeah, just go wander off. Reminds me of a certain princess. A princess? Never mind. There's got to be a way up around here somewhere. Let's see what we can find. Hey, why were you wearing that stuffy-looking suit of armor? Oh, you didn't like it? It's pretty sturdy and protects my body quite nicely. See? Look at this beautiful skin, free of bruises and blemishes. Very nice. I'm actually worried where my eyes might wander. You don't look all that worried to me. I've just got a good poker face. So you're okay? You don't mind leaving your armor behind? It's sturdy, but it's heavy. Walking around with that on tires me out. Hey, no complaints here. I prefer eye candy to scary armor any day. Okay, this is my weapon. Can't find yours? 
someone might have just took it. Maybe. Why don't you just pick one here? Uh, right. Is that something special for you? Yes, it was. Well, this should do for a while. I'll take this. Are you fine with that? I don't think I will find my weapon here. I'll look for it as I go on. I'll try looking for it too. Thank you. Looks like we can't go any higher, and we can't go outside either. What the? Is the sorcerer's ring broken? Did the air here do this? Hey, you're more fashion conscious than I thought. This isn't fashion. You go like this, and... It moved. It's powered up. I'll bet you could move other levers with that, too. You think it's okay? I'm afraid it might blow up or something. If it happens, it happens. For now, let's pull that lever over there. If something this tiny exploded, I guess it wouldn't be too dangerous. Was that fancy ring a present from someone? Hmm, I guess you could call it a present. Well, well, looks like you're quite the ladies' man. No, 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 I'm just a big sucker. Oh? It's amazing enough the ring holds power, but it even reacts to air and becomes stronger. You must have a very strong bond with the girl who gave that to you. And that's one bond I wouldn't mind breaking. limit by any chance sure yeah okay then try this huh what's this the limit duo your battle spirit can allow you to use even more powerful over limits oh yeah if your battle spirit is the real thing that is so what else can you tell me about these strong over limits you can produce more power when attacking alone is that so I still don't quite get it really Maybe you'll pick it up as you use them in battle. Sounds good to me. All right, let's get moving then. Them. Huh. Looks like you guys have things under control. Yuri! 
Hey, what gives? Come on, lay off, will you? Are you okay? Were you hurt? Never been better. You worry too much. I thought I told you all to stay put for a while. What do you expect? We were worried about you. Hey, just for the record, I wasn't worrying about him. Well, I for one was worried sick. Yeah, right. Why would you bother coming all the way out here anyway? It's like this, see? The Don's having a fit, saying there's no way he'll let Barbos make a fool out of him. But I'm the one he sends to do his dirty work. What do you think you guys are doing coming in this way? Well, the front door was locked. That's not the point. And who might this lovely Critian be? Is she a princess? Laying it on a little thick there, old man. This is Judith, and we were locked up together. Hello. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm Estelise. But we all call her Estelle. Rita Mordio. And I am the great... Old man. It's Raven. R-A-V-E-N. Raven! You have to wonder about people who introduce themselves like that. Hmm. That didn't quite have the zing I was looking for. I think that'll do for now. <laughs> what an interesting bunch of people. Ooh. I think she likes me. Idiot. Judith, what were you doing in a place like this? I came to have a look at the Blastia. All the way out here? Why? I... She was captured while she was on a sort of research trip. Yeah, the Critia do like their research. <laughs> Were you able to locate your Aqua Blastia? Nope, not this time either. I wonder if it's somewhere here in this tower. <laughs> Are you all right? Flynn? What's a lieutenant doing here all alone? We're short on manpower. Besides, I had no idea how dangerous it would be. Is everything going okay? The Don told everyone the truth, so things have calmed down. There's no longer any worry of conflict. My people have secured Rago's subordinates, and the Union has neutralized the town's mercenaries. All that's left is Barbos. Your Highness, it's terribly dangerous. So please stay here with Yuri and the others. It's far too dangerous for you to go all alone. We're going with you. No, I cannot permit that. Hold up, we've got a bit of history with Barbos, so we're not about to throw in the towel after coming this far. Besides, I'm pretty sure Estelle's just gonna go after you anyway. Yuri. <sighs> Very well, then we'll go together. There isn't much time and it should be safer this way. Everything settled? Then let's go. What is it, old man? Uh, nothing. Just thinking how you could really brag to your friends if you lived in a place like this. <laughs> Repeat, come on. I guess you too, old man. You guess? What's that supposed to mean? Aren't you a little old for hide-and-seek? What's wrong with poking your head out every once in a while? These kids are really giving it a go. They could use your help every now and again. If such a necessity arises, I shall interfere. No such necessity exists now. All right, all right. I know you've got your own business to take care of. I do not have the time for these clowning antics of yours. Jeez, watch where you're pointing words like that. The affairs of this world hold no interest for me. Hmm. What's up, Yuri? Is something wrong with your weapon? No, I was just thinking about how different axes and swords feel to use. Hmm. Ah, you use both swords and axes, don't you? Yeah, but my arts change depending on which I use. It's not a problem or anything, but... Hmm. Well, I think you look cooler when you're using axes, Yuri. It makes you look stronger, too. <clears throat> really? I prefer Yuri when he's using swords myself. You should just use one in each hand. <laughs> Give me a break.
there's still a lack of devotion. You're as stiff as ever. That's why you... Such good friends. I've unlocked new strength. These are the threads that weave our future. I made that kind of mistake. I should have moved right then. Damn it! Somebody shut this old man up. What mistake did you make? Oh, you sweet girl. Thank you for listening. If I'd just met that pretty and hottie before Yuri, the two of us would be off together just... Ha! Yeah! Whoa! Go easy on him, Rita. You got a problem. Uh-uh. I guess the old man couldn't care less about me. Um, well, I'm glad you weren't hurt, Yuri. <laughs> Thanks. So you use a spear too. Oh, do you know someone who also uses a spear? Eh, well not quite. It just reminds me of some jerk. Are you talking about that dragon rider? Yeah. Hey, don't you have something you need to tell me? What? Me? Yes. So where is the dragon freak now? We got separated up on the roof. I'm pretty sure he wasn't too badly hurt. Good, because I can't very well beat him up if he's already injured. Whoa, whoa, that's the whole reason you came here? No! I also can't forgive this Barbos guy for what he did. Abusing Blastia like that. Has he no shame? That's no reason to bring the princess along with you to a dangerous place like this. Flynn, why didn't you stop her? My apologies. We must have missed each other in Domgrest. So that's why she panicked and chased after you? It's not Rita or Flynn's fault. I decided to come here myself. I couldn't let you go all by yourself. Besides, I can't watch bad people doing harm to others and simply let it happen. I agree. Very well said. Your Highness. Captain Carroll, don't let me down. I'm counting on your skills. Yes, of course! Come on, let's go take that jerk to school. I'm sorry, but would you mind keeping your background to yourself? You've got someone who might kind of explode if she knew. Sure, I understand. That'll be best for both of our interests. Is he also a member of your party? Yeah, he doesn't get along too well with people, though. Don't let it get to you. I'm Judith. Nice to meet you. <sighs> hey, why is he letting Judith pet him? Maybe the little pup's a fan of pretty girls. But I'm a pretty girl, too! My, my. Why doesn't he like me?
very much in Flynn's style. <coughs> Barbos rules based on the laws of the Empire. It is the Knight's duty to arrest those who break the law. I can't leave you and the others to do as you would. You need an excuse to do everything, don't you? That's what it means to be an Imperial Knight. Maybe there's something we could do to bring it down, huh? We need air. Air? Yes. If this conduction tube were supplying air, the ladder might be able to move down. How do we make that happen? How about you try to figure out things yourself for once? You don't know, do you? You're not gonna get it until I really hit you for once, huh? Wait! You mean all those other times you weren't hitting for real? Cut it out, you two. Let's go and look for some way to get up there. Um, you need a gel or anything? My thanks, but don't worry about me. Focus on your surroundings instead. You never know where a foe might be hiding. Oh, yeah. I'll pay more attention. Why so stiff? It's kind of awkward, huh? Flynn and Carol are perfect ladies, though. I'm not around nights all the time, so I get nervous. Just think of me as someone washing your back. All right, thanks. Judy was nervous? Was that okay? Beautiful.
Yeah, I beat you in the net.
It looks like this floor is set up the same way as the one below. So that means we've got some gears to move. What do you think they're protecting with all these different layers of devices? Maybe it's just their pride as a guild.
<laughs> I got a little worked up. You want revenge? Back again, uh, you stubborn punk. Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, the core in that sword, is that the core to the Aqua Blast yet? Yeah, it's gotta be. These fools don't know when to give up. Kapwanor, Dongrest, and now all the way to Gosforost. I've always hated kids. Barbos, this has gone on long enough. Save what's left of your honor and give up. The Knights will be here any moment. Any further resistance is futile. That's right, you're finished. Oh, this is far from finished. I put 10 years into building Gasforost's spire, and while it stands, nothing can stop me. And with that man and the Empire wrapped around my finger, I was able to build my magnificent Blastia. That man? You think I'm just gonna let you waste the lower quarter's core like this? Oh, it won't go to waste. I'll use this to eliminate White Horse, and then I will be leader of the guilds. Then the Empire is next. With this power at my disposal, the very world will be mine. And I'll start with you! Begone, worms!
Is everyone all right? That sword is gonna be a problem. Problem? Is that thing even legal? It is very powerful. <laughs> the blast here seems to be working just fine! What? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't won yet. All right, playtime's over. Time to wipe Dongrest off the map and you along with it! Get down. Hey, that's... Rita, never mind that! Piece of crap! Looks like the tables have turned, Barbos. So, all that fancy wisdom and the power of the blast here were nothing but a sham. Should have known from the start that I'd have to depend on my own strength! Take up your swords! You know, he was so much easier to deal with when he was all drunk on power. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an enlightened idiot. I am the only man to stand as White Horse's equal in battle. Now you will know the power of Barbos the Stormblast and his blood alliance! Your henchmen have run out on you. That's it, Barbus. It looks like you were the fool who didn't know when to give up. <laughs> Perhaps you were right. 
Then you'll surrender. I... I won't be humiliated any more than this. Yuri, was it? <laughs> you remind me of Whitehorse in his youth. You're his spitting image. Hope you're not saying I'm gonna end up like that old man. Not exactly something to look forward to. Like the Don. Sooner or later, you will make great enemies in this world. And then that world will consume you whole. Regret. Sorrow and despair will hound you all the way to hell. And I will be waiting there for you. I'm so glad the core is safe. Wow, the Aqua Blastia core is so small. So we've got your core back. That takes care of one problem. Yes, but we weren't able to take Barbos into custody. Yes, that alone is quite regrettable. What are you talking about? A creep like that is better off- Ow! Besides, I think it's too early to say anything's been taken care of. Yeah, I have to find out if this thing even works anymore. Hmm. Blastia cores don't break all that easily. Huh. Bet you didn't know that, did you, Ra Raven? Jeez, what is up with that guy? Just showing up whenever he wants. You're one to talk, Rita. Takes all kinds, I suppose. He probably headed back to Dongrist. I'm sure we can find him if we need to. I'll go on ahead as well. I left my people with a considerable amount of work. Your Highness, if you would please accompany me. Um, can't I stay with everyone a little longer? We'll look after your unreasonable princess a little longer. Isn't that easier for you too? We'll make sure she gets to Dongrest. <sighs> Very well. But in exchange, I ask that you take the utmost caution. Absolutely no detours, okay? All right, all right. Then I take my leave, Your Highness, until we meet again in Dongrest. Thank you, Flynn. Why do you look so sad? Are you okay? I was just thinking. I still owe that creep to Deki a good beating. You got the Blastia back. Isn't that enough? Why chase after some stupid thief? Yeah, I guess you're right. If I ever cross paths with him, though, he's in for a surprise. Waiting for me in hell, huh? Why do you have to go and say that? Hey, come on already. Let's get back to Dongrest. Well, I will take my leave from you here. Off to meet up with your partner? Partner? Who do you mean? We'll be operating individually from now on. That way we won't interfere with each other's work. I see. I'll well, see you later. Yeah. I tell you, this is a plot by the Knights to destroy the Council! He doesn't know when to quit, does he? Where's Flynn? I can't make him out from here. You must not be taken in by the Knights! They only plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety. On the honor of the Imperial Knights, I swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty. You're... Flynn Shifo. 
The Empire and the Union have joined in a treaty of friendship. What? Impossible. At this moment, Don Whitehorse and His Highness Yoder are in council together. It's only a matter of time until it's made official. But how? I thought that cursed Alexei was tied up in other matters. Yes. It is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Then, on whose authority? No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this boy! This will put an end to the suffering of the people of Capua Nor as well. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? Yes. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal. But you don't really want to go back. What do you mean? I can see it in your face. No, I... I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat?
Oh, man. Just let me sleep. Brigo! He, he... What did Brigo do? They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges. It looks like he's gonna get off with only a minor drop in rank after everything he did. This has got to be a joke. It's not a joke. It's the truth. So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait, if we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it. Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? I wonder if he's at his post right now. Doesn't anyone knock anymore? You knew I'd be coming. That outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. You'd be able to... Don't waste your breath. Congratulations on making captain. Thank you. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes, committing treason by his collusion with Barbos, add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. The people he killed were either fed to monsters or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard that he should be able to do those things and not have to answer for them. The authority of the Council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to Captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal, but I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True, but many people will continue to suffer in the meantime needlessly. When I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. The progress you've made would all be for nothing. <sighs> if he's above you, you go even higher, and then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? I'm still trying to figure that out.
It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the Council on you. Ah! What the? It's you. Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the Council, you know. I could crush you w with a single command. You won't get away with this. The laws in the Council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, st stay back! Oh, I was so close. De nomos. Repeat. Too bad we gotta split up. Please, come visit the castle anytime. You'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago, to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. These whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credits. When I finish my analysis, I'll, um, pay a visit to the capital too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay then, see ya! Carol, where will you go from here? I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No. I wouldn't want to wake him. All right. Well, this is it. Yeah, I hope we see each other again. already took off. Oh. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. What the? Monsters. Carol, 
Any idea what that thing is? No. I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Well, things didn't go bad for me until I left the capital with Estelle. So that means... Drop it. Keep moving. Right. with the help of Heracles. Yuri, wait! There's nothing more you can do! <laughs> you expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak! Who... who are you? Yuri! You're safe. continue my journey. What do you mean? If you're going back to the capital, you shouldn't keep Flynn waiting. It's for you to decide. Then I... I want to continue the journey as well. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Judas? Don't! It's too dangerous! Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Huh? Why is it taking off? Yuri! Lady Estelise! Wait! Here comes the cavalry. I'm sorry, Flynn. I realize now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! Flynn, get this court back to the lower quarter. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess? Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! 
All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. That huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing at Karabakram and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. <laughs> 